Hello, welcome to Digital Goulash. I'm Chucky, and today I'll be using Photoshop Element 7 to make a color pop out of a picture. Now, I've gone over to Flickr and picked up one of Rick Harris's photos of some telephone booths, some old telephone booths, and I've noticed that this is probably the way that he wanted it, these reds nice and faded like they are, and just kind of a nice blue sky that he has over here but what I'd like to do is use it as an example of how we can make colors pop out of a picture and just target certain colors without having to use any kind of masking or anything now to do this I'm going to go to our friendly adjustment layers over in the layers palette it is the black and white cookie item here I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to go to hue and saturation this is one of my favorite tools here now looking at this I could just adjust the hue but as you can see it is adjusting all the hues in there it's turning green to yellow and yellow orange to red and it's changing the hues here so I'm going to take this back down to zero and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select what color I want to have pop or at least a close proximity because I'm going to show you how to change this but we have a red right here and right there these are all the colors that I'm going to be shifting and then it kind of blends this is what this is right here it kind of blends off to pink and then kind of blends off to orange if you don't really like that you can kind of bring this in and it will not use as many of the shades of color that you want to have uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little eyedropper tool here and I'm going to click on the red that I want to change or it's kind of this pinkish red and you notice that it kind of gradually dropped over here and included a little bit more over here and shied away from some of the orange by just clicking here. So you can see that it kind of jumps around there. Now if you wanted to add more of the red tones, I could click the plus eyedropper and then just kind of move it along here and then it would include a little bit more of this. So right now we're on reds and what I'd like to do is really make this color pop so in order to do that I'm gonna take my saturation tool here and then I'm gonna bring the saturation tool up ooh that's some nice reds there it's getting a little bit uh, surreal a little bit exaggerated but that's okay that's kind of the effect that I'm looking for and then when I'm happy with it I'm gonna select OK now you did notice that some of these plants in the front they uh, they took on some of these properties of this saturated red which I'm not happy with and so that's why we use the adjustment layer so that we can take some of that out of there now over here in the pal uh, the layers palette here you can see the adjustment layer right here you can always go back and you can adjust these settings or you can come over here and play with the mask here now this is kinda like the mask the uh, layer mask part of it and then if I go all the way over here as a default we have white and black now in order to switch the paint brush to a black we have to put it in the foreground so I can either use this little switch foreground and background you notice that it says switch foreground and background select X on your keyboard so I'm going to do that now and show you that I can hit the X on the keyboard and it swaps those to the background and the foreground then I'm going to go to a brush tool or as you can see if I highlight over that uh, it says B for brush so let's say I'm on uh, the move tool here and then I select B on my keyboard it jumps over here some of the Photoshop professionals really like these keyboard shortcuts and I'm starting to like them too especially the X and then if you have other colors in here you can select D and it will put the white and black back to where it was so now what we're going to do is we have our size here and we want to have the mode in normal and opacity at 100 then I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint over the areas that I do not want to have the red using the left and right bracket key over the enter key on your keyboard will make the you can see the brush getting a little smaller or it will get a little bit larger really fast way to make a different brush size and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint out this red area so right there you can see that I've kinda of painted out 
this red area so that it's not real bright like the telephone booths. Now I also want to show you over here if you've looked at some of the other tutorials on the web you can see that this black area is allowing the original picture to go through and then all the other areas of white are being affected by that hue adjustment that we made to saturate the reds. Now there's a lot of areas here that look very unreal. Of course the telephone <laughs> booths look unreal too but that's the effect that I'm going to, kind of a surreal effect. But as you can see I'm kind of painting out the red areas that I don't like here. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller so I can get a little bit more detail in here and take out some of these reds in the center in between. I need a little bit smaller brush here. I'm going to brush those out. Brush all this stuff out here. Brush a little bit up over here. Okay, so it's starting to look really nice. Now some of the sky changed hue as well. We can either leave that or I can make a little bit bigger brush and kind of swipe over the sky to make sure that the sky doesn't have any red bits to it. There we go. Alright, so now that I've colored all this in here, you can see that right here the original color is bleeding through all these areas that are black and then white is the areas that are being affected by the mask. So let me go ahead and turn off the visibility layer, the little eyeball over here, and look at our original photo, how drab it was, and then with the adjustment layer, there's the nice bright red telephone booths that we know and love here. I can, for some reason that's not, I guess that's just the color that's bleeding through. So there's your lesson for today using the hue and saturation adjustment layer and then going in and tweaking it to how you like it to be able to change the image to make your colors pop out. So this is Chucky. I will catch you around. Please leave a comment if you like this. Let me know what you're doing and you could even send me a link to some of your great photos that you're dropping on Flickr or any of the other uh, web albums that you have.